Hi, welcome to the show here. This is uh, very interesting. It applies to most families, honestly. You may say, well, I don't have it, but I pray that you would be open-minded because I'm going to recommend a different form of testing because you never know for certain. Um, because some people can be thin and normal. You think most diabetics are overweight. No, they're not all overweight. 20, 30% of people that are thin are diabetic, except uh, the, their doctor doesn't know it. They don't know it. He ran only a glucose test when I think you should run a serum insulin test and we could catch you on the way uh, to diabetes, which would make it a lot easier to fix than to say, well, you gotta lose 100 pounds. We may just say you lose three or five and it goes away, you eat different food and it goes away. So let's first discuss a little bit about types of diabetes, uh, I mean the main types at least. Uh, type one uh, is where you don't make, don't have any insulin, okay? Uh, and it is more commonly seen in children um, and, uh, and most people would say, your doctor might say, it's an autoimmune disease, it's a reaction to, to something uh, you ate or occasionally it's genetic, and the pancreas which secretes the insulin is destroyed. Uh, well, which a lot of people don't know actually, is that people who uh, don't tolerate some vegetables very well. They have gluten or lectin proteins uh, in their blood and that attacks the pancreas and destroys it. Uh, yeah, there are uh, people uh, who are on the way to type 1 diabetes. Occasionally it's run in a family. Everybody's uh, got it, but that's rare. So don't think that type 1 uh, is, is something that wasn't a cause for it. So you get a gluten test, get a, a lectin test, for, for example. Um, and like I said, if the serum insulin is very low, you could have type 1. Uh, but that can occur more commonly in young people, but it occur at any age. Uh, type 2 uh, diabetes is where the insulin level is too high because you have insulin resistance. Um, uh, and that's 90% uh, of the cases. People think oh, it's a disease of 30, 40 year olds, older people, or only of overweight people. Wrong. It, it can occur at any age. It can occur at age three or four. The biggest rate of increase in weight is in two to six year olds, but we are not testing them uh, properly. Mm -hmm. uh, an excellent book for the proof of it was written by uh, Joseph Kraft. I'll hold it up here a minute. Joseph Kraft is a book you could probably read uh, within two or three nights. Uh, I've read it maybe half a dozen times. It is excellent uh, book. You can see him on YouTube, K-R-A-F-T, Joseph Kraft on uh, you can see him on YouTube, and he's speaking to Dr. Cummings, most famous obesity doctor in the world. Uh, and he is say, and he, saying that the book, which I'll discuss uh, a little bit, uh, uh, what he is saying is before we change and test people properly, he's 92 years old when he's given the talk, I'll be looking down upon you for a long time before the medical community wakes up and starts testing people properly. But you can wake up before that time by getting a serum insulin test. I will discuss that with you. And uh, in fact, the name of his book is Diabetes Epidemic. It's an epidemic. Uh, certain ratio groups, 90% of the people have diabetes. Mm -hmm. I would say the white community, probably 70, 80%, 50%, maybe 40, 50% maybe know it, 
they've not been tested properly. And we in the medical profession are allowing people to have this uh, till they can't see or can't hear or get a leg amputate. Oh, you got diabetes or you know, your kidneys are failing when it could have been diagnosed 20 years before. Are we going to prevent it, that carnage? There's 34 diseases of, of diabetes can be stopped, prevented, and reversed. Dr. Jason Fong's book, which I'll talk about in a little bit, matter of fact, he found that if he can get people to, to uh, eat properly, kind of go into a keto-type diet, good fats, less sugary uh, uh, foods, uh, and they lose fat in their pancreas. That's an organ that, 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 that uh, uh, looks, uh, I would say, about like this. It's located deep in, in your belly by the curve in your guts, the duodenum close to your liver, close to your uh, back, uh, is full of fat. And, and the pancreas doesn't work anymore, okay? But he found if you can get the fat out of, the, out of there, uh, even if you had di diabetes for 20, 30 years, the pancreas wakes up and starts secreting insulin again. That's, it's right in this book. It's fantastic news and good news. And that's the reason I want you to, to listen carefully. Uh, you don't have to accept having diabetes. 90% of the people can get rid of it by eating differently. Mm -hmm. Even if you're on insulin, even if you are on insulin. But to get back to Dr. Kraft's book, what he says on the cover, diabetes epidemic in you. Should everyone be tested? Absolutely not. Only those concerned about their future. Remember I said, if you have diabetes, what your future is, Odds are you were to die 20 years before your time, and the 20 years before that, you will have major disabilities of hearing trouble, can't see right, gum disease. Almost all gum disease is due to elevated blood sugar. Mm -hmm. Sugar joins bacteria. Bacteria love sugar, destroy your enamel, and destroy your mouth. Mm -hmm. Thyroid disease, heart attacks, renal disease, liver disease, amputations, dislocations, I can go on and on. All can be prevented, 90% stopped, significant number reversed. So you have to, but you have to gain some knowledge to do this. So I have some other books here with me, which I like to have a look at, depending, everyone's situation is different, okay? But the significant thing I like to recommend is that you get a, a blood sugar. And I think even if you have children, have the kids get it. What he describes uh, in here, he, he studied, uh, first of all, did autopsies. He looked at the bottom line. Autopsies aren't done much anymore. That stopped around 1980. We do it only on people that have been shot or injured or an accident. Uh, before that, we did an autopsy on almost everybody. Mm -hmm. You look at the bottom line, you, lo you learn things. Then he ran about uh, 1,200, uh, about 14,000 tests on people, starting at age three to age 90. And he studied uh, the blood sugar curves, the insulin curves. Uh, and he began to understand the pathology of diabetes. Uh, matter of fact, I took this information to a pediatrician, head of the state pediatric society at one time, big, honest guy, you like him more than you would like me. I gave him the book, I came back a week later. I said, well, what'd you think? Because I want to discuss it. He says, oh, I lost it. So I pulled another one out of my bag. I said, I got another one. He says, I'll be back in two weeks. I came back in two weeks. He said, I had no time to read it. What do you make out of that? I don't know. But I think we need to change the system of testing for diabetes in children. We can't just start at age 10. We've got to start much earlier. Why, why do I feel this way? Because uh, we could then 
change the way we uh, teach them to eat, for example, uh, uh, and we could avoid uh, type 2 diabetes, but I think you could avoid some type 1 also because you could discover uh, that uh, they have a gluten allergy, uh, uh, for example, we could change the way they eat and they wouldn't get type 1 diabetes. Is that possible? Yes, it's occurred. It's in this book. I think it could be done, but you don't hear, uh, you know, a, a lot about it. Uh, the, an, another good book which I mentioned to you before by Jason Fung, F-U-N-G, uh, he is a doctor from Toronto, Canada, and his history is interesting. He was a kidney doctor. He was a kidney doctor, but he noticed all the people he was seeing were diabetic. And he said, I think I'll become a diabetic doctor so I can uh, prevent kidney disease. Kidney disease has five stages to it. In the first three stages, people don't have any symptoms. Uh, and most doctors don't even run a test for it because if they run a test for it, they might find it starts the way you filter urine, uh, 100 to zero, 100, you're normal, okay? As you get older, the number drops a little bit, like I had mine tested recently, although I have no disease, it's around 88 or so, so a little bit decline because of getting a day older. <laughs> But that would be normal. And, uh, but when they're testing for the people on the stages, because then if they, they have a health problem, uh, maybe it can be corrected by diet, which you could most of the time. Most people who are getting dialyzed uh, and get, getting real transplant, they had diabetes. It could have been prevented. It could have been stopped. It could have been reversed. So it's important to get uh, uh, tested for that. And, and what's... Uh, has he written on his book, The Diabetes Code, Prevent Reverse Type 2 Diabetes Naturally. Naturally. By eating the right food. He is uh, a lot, uh, speaks a lot, and you can see him on YouTube. He's got a new show there every, every week. F-U-N-G, Jason. Excellent one uh, to follow. Um, uh, you gain a lot of information from them. He is a lot uh, into fasting, breakfast fasting. And in my, I'm, I'm talking about missing a week or a month or days. Uh, what I'm speaking about and I recommend is time-regulated eating. And, and I wrote a book, you can see it right here, Rudy's War on, on, on Diabetes. Why would I say a war? A war because I'm a little bit tired of just touching the issue. The information I'm giving you today has been known for many years, but no one's pushing besides Dr. Fong and maybe Dr. Kraft and Dr. Jelinek and, and Susan Ryan, a book I'll discuss too. Very few people are pushing to get rid of their disease instead of just giving you pills or shots, which I'll discuss more. Uh, more in the detail. So I, I decided to declare war on it. Uh, my bullets are information. It's information. I want you to learn and understand, and you will change once you, once you uh, uh, know a great uh, deal, deal more. Uh, but what he's saying is you can get rid of the disease by changing the way you eat. By, but he likes fasting, which I highly recommend. I recommend 16, eight, 16 hours of not eating, eight hours of eating. So, and if you want to make it simpler, two meals a day. If you do two meals a day, uh, do intermittent fasting, time regulated eating, 16 hours. Um, uh, you don't eat, you will get rid of your diabetes and most of the diseases quickly. Diabetes, probably in a month. The blood sugars will go down. If you're on pills, check shots, check with your doctor, let them know this is what you're doing. And what I'm really uh, rec recommending, what about the type is, is you skip breakfast. And I tell you why that works is easiest meal to, to skip is 
that as you approach four, five, or six o'clock in the morning, your body realizes it's, it's, it's getting towards morning. There's a clock within you, okay? Uh, with, uh, within you, and the adrenal gland secretes adrenaline, and that increases your blood sugar, okay? Your hypothalamus, big gland in the bottom of your brain, see, secretes growth hormone that in raises the blood sugar a bit. Your pancreas, which is the opposite of the insulin, is glucagon. Glucagon gets secreted, and that increases your, your uh, uh, blood sugar, and you feel fine. You only get hungry when your sugar uh, uh, drops, drops down. Um, and so skipping breakfast is pretty simple because your blood sugar is like this. It's not going like this, and your hunger increases. Uh, Okay, eat around 11 or 12, and eat again around 6. In this time that you are fasting, that you're not, you're not eating, the cells in your body are repairing themselves, replacing themselves, and uh, building new cells. You're getting a new body in this it's called autophagia. Autophagia, the body is repairing itself. And then if you... And if you uh, eat a proper meal, I'll discuss that in a minute. Uh, uh, remember, you, if you do two meals, it's easier. I mean, you can do three, but in that eight-hour period, I don't care. But I, it's easier if you do two. You won't get hungry. Uh, uh, anyway, and I, I do it naturally. It's not on purpose. I just, I just do it, and I find out and I read about it. It's the right thing to do. And I'm 39 for the 46th time. I feel great every day. Weigh 135 pounds, so I guess it, might, it must work. <laughs> Thanks for uh, listening to that. But what about type of food? Uh, sugar is a booger in the hooker. That's what causes diabetes. And, and if we take in more sugar than we are burning that day, guess what? It gets converted to fat, and our body is going like that. Now, if you're a thin person, you may still be diabetic, and you may be getting fat in the pancreas, can cause diabetes or the liver, but your body looks okay. And you think, oh, I'm not diabetic, I'm of normal weight. You are what your blood tests are, blood sugar and serum insulins is the uh, uh, important thing, okay? Uh, so, but if you, for that breakfast, what I'm trying to get you to eat is to find out what good fats are, glacamole, uh, uh, peppers, uh, olives, uh, MCT oil, uh, though good cheese, goat cheese, those are good fats, about 50, 60 percent, 20 percent protein. Yeah, you don't need a high protein diet. Your body only needs a certain amount of protein, amino acids, that's a breakdown of protein every day. If you eat more than it you need, you know what your body does with it? Converts it to sugar. Yes, eating a high-protein diet will cause you to gain weight and it in muscles. It's fat. So we see the guys working out, taking all these supplements and eating this 90% protein diet. They're going like this. They're becoming diabetic. That isn't muscles they're getting. They're picking up fat on their body. And then about 10, 50% uh, vegetables uh, uh, and fruit. Yeah, too many, too many fruits has fructose in it. Fructose causes fat in the liver. It's not metabolized like sugar. Uh, so uh, to eat uh, a, a vegetable fruit diet 80%, like you used to recommend uh, five, 10 years ago, and some famous books have been written on that, that makes you a bit healthier. But if you want to really get healthy quickly, ketones are molecules uh, like used for energy made by the liver, uh, by the liver, okay? And, there, and if you don't eat a, a lot of sugar, okay, the sugar goes down and insulin goes down, and what you're eating uh, will open the fat cells up because the insulin sugar level is up. When the insulin level goes down, fat cells open up. 
and they get traveled to the kidney, converted to ketones. They're molecules like sugar molecules, uh, except smaller and much more energetic. Your brain is, doesn't just live on sugar. It can live on ketones, too. That was discovered about 30, 30 uh, years ago. You feel more energetic. Your brain uh, uh, feels uh, better. You're getting thinner because your fat cells ha have been open. You see what I mean? So 50, 70 percent uh, uh, good fats, 20 percent protein, the rest of vegetables and, 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 and fruit. But, keep, but keeping track of the sugar is important. A quick note about a book I have here by Tom Jelinek. I'd like to hold this up for you. Uh, he was a, a diabetic and, and, and uh, got rid of it. It was interesting uh, in this book, uh, which, which gets you a lot of uh, in, information, is that insulin, which we're giving patients whose insulin levels are elevated or type 1 cl clearly uh, needed, is that insulin stuffs sugar into the cell. But the cell becomes like this. So what do you think is going to happen to you? You're going to gain more weight. Then the body gets too used to receiving the same dose of insulin. You eat more, you eat more, you eat more, and eventually uh, you just go like this. Uh, it makes the diabetes worse. The companies that make the insulin, they know that. They just don't tell you about it. Many doctors don't tell you about it. Insulin makes diabetes worse. Most of the time, it helps a few people. They're type 1 diabetic. That makes no insulin. Insulin helps. But what's been going on, though, uh, is uh, they have these insulin pumps now, and, and the diabetic uh, will just eat all they want, and, oh, take 100 units of insulin, 200 units of insulin. But if they ate right, they only would need 20. Well, they take 120, 200 units of insulin. What do you think going to happen to them? They're going to go like this, make things worse. So a type 1 diabetic should they get 20 units of, of insulin or so uh, and eat right, they probably live to be 100. But if they follow the regimen of just reacting to their blood sugar, uh, the, they, they're going to live a little bit longer, but they're still going to die in their 40s and 50s and 60s. But that can be avoided. So learn. Uh, and, these, uh, and the price of insulin you see in the newspaper all the time, well, now they want to see maybe $35. Uh, it's, it's been a scam. These companies have fixed the price of insulin when it could be made real cheap. Uh, and, uh, and the way they've done it uh, is they let the, uh, the pharmaceutical benefit company decide what the price should be. That's a separate uh, company. <laughs> what do you think they're doing? Uh, they're fixing the price in the favor of the drug companies. Uh, when uh, we could buy the stuff from Europe for probably $5 a dose. Uh, and uh, there's a huge scam going on. Uh, uh, and and I, I throw it right at you. Uh, the same, uh, uh, one of the same companies also uh, makes a hormone, growth hormone. They just sold the company that little cows get injected with that increases milk production 10 times. And then they pour hormones and pesticides on the cow to increase their milk production, and then the kids drink it. What do you think? Uh, is milk good for you? Read a book called Whitewash by Joe Keon. You may change your mind. Uh, okay, so I'm just trying to get information uh, to you. So this is a Tom Jelinek's book. It's excellent one to go through, especially about uh, the story about insulin. It explains the diabetes thing. Uh, real good to you. I mean, suppose you're way overweight, and, and you and you're just taking the medications, uh, and and you feel hopeless. I tell you, a great book to read. The first thirty pages explains diabetes to you in great detail, uh, and then the rest of the book she has copies pictures of recipes, and also tells you how much. And we spoke about. Uh, good fats, protein, carbohydrates, the percentages on every recipe. Uh, beautiful, beautiful pictures. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, explanation. She herself uh, 
has lost, I think, 120 pounds, and she looked beautiful. Mm -hmm. Susan Ryan, simply keto. It explains, remember, ketones are sugar uh, molecules of energy that are a little smaller than glucose, but they, the brain loves them, the body uh, loves them. She explains, you've heard a lot about it, uh, but I'm not talking about you. Uh, and, and she talks a little bit about fasting, that's as much as I do because of Jason Fung, I think this time-regulated eating um, uh, and cooking out of here, I, I think 90% of the people wouldn't have the diabetes in about a month. Yeah. I mean, can you imagine that? Look at the money you would save. You look better. You live longer. You feel better. So don't accept, don't accept diabetes. I mean, some people, they have to accept it, but most of the people, if they eat right, and there are many, uh, there are many racial groups, there are uh, ethnic groups, who th think it's ra race related. It's not race related. It's the type of food uh, that they're eating, and a lot of them uh, are under stress, and they're eating the sugar to feel good, but the other ways to feel good. Uh, you're not going to feel good when they diagnose you with kidney disease uh, and, and now you're dialyzed, got to spend 14 hours a day at the dialysis center, and a year or two they're going to give you a new kidney when all that could be avoided. But you got to step up. You can look at uh, websites that I got to for more information. Diabetes support, fw.com, uh, it leads to uh, YouTube shows, instructional shows, Facebook posts, unbelievable amount of information. So you want to gather some information. You know, watch it five minutes, the next day five minutes, and you build up your knowledge. If you want to talk to me in person at the Divine Cafe by the Coliseum, the Divine uh, Cafe, where the gas station is there behind there. They open uh, seven to three every day except Monday. Uh, on Fridays, I see people there uh, for nothing to teach them. Why am I doing this? Because I want to see people get well. I don't accept all this diabetes that we have, and the opportunity is there to get rid of it. Yet, when you meet most uh, providers, nurses, doctors, hospitals, they don't say you can get rid of this disease. They'll tell you how to maintain this disease. Be sure to speak to your doctor as your blood sugar is dropping when you're eating the right food, uh, that the your dosages or your medications can be reduced, especially if you are um, on uh, insulin. But I think it's very important. And I appreciate you listening to me. Look at our other shows. Uh, Look at diabetes support, fw.com. Uh, I probably got 500 YouTube shows out there. You can just scroll through them, pick out what you want to watch. But I do half hour on um, diabetes, stop reversing uh, at the public library here every two weeks, a half hour. I've been doing it for years. Why have I been doing it for years? Because the opportunity is there. Our hospitals would only be half full if people would start to listen instead of just accepting the pill or the uh, prescription. And, and you need to participate, number one, you need to participate. Maybe uh, look at some of the stuff. Maybe just look at the YouTube. Maybe just listen to me. Additional information, these uh, fantastic books I have in front of you. I do this because I love you and care about you. <laughs> and, Next time you see me challenge me to a game of pickleball or, or say I want to tap dance with you, all things that I do. <laughs> I do this because I love you. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.